Oh, hey there. I, I didn't see you. What's the situation, you ask? Well, another breakdown, aren't you silly? What you thinking there? Of course we're breaking down again. We break down all the time around here. Welcome to Truck House Live, baby. Driving north from uh, Girdwood, we're heading up to Willow, Alaska, and we're going up to Willow to meet up with my good buddy Matt. His best friend from high school, Mason, flew up here, and we're going to teach him how to ride some powder with the snow machine. So we'll see how that goes. So let's get up to that cabin. All right, we here unloading. Those guys are already up at the cabin. 600 fired up, still acting up, but uh, I got a part coming to fix that. What am I doing? Yeah, just getting stuff out of the truck. I want to sleep in this tonight. So let's go to Matt's cabin. There's Matt's cabin. You see it back there behind me in the trees? Maybe. Right up there. I don't know if you guys can notice, but I put the gimbal back in the camera. So now maybe the footage is all smooth. Now, I can't remember if I showed you guys Matt's cabin or not. Now keep in mind, Matt built this cabin by himself with the help of a buddy. Uh, but neither one of them had built anything really their entire lives. And they busted this cabin out. So pretty cool. Got the whole kitchen oven situation. Pretty sweet, it's all propane. It's got a sink over here. You just gotta carry the water in, there's no well. And down here, the sink just drips into a five gallon bucket. And then you toss the bucket out the window. Bunch of counter space over this way. We got a little bit of sitting area, kitchen table style. Pretty nice front porch out here. I got the wood stove down here, which is pretty sweet. Obviously that's how you keep the place warm. But when you first walk in the door, all you gotta do is come over and hit the propane heater. This is essentially like a giant Mr. Buddy heater. Just a little propane right there. Fire it up really quick. It just like pre-warms the house up while you're waiting for the wood stove down there. A nice recliner down here and some super sketchy steps. And here's the loft. Whoa, almost hit the camera to the fan. Here's a loft up here. Nice little bed. Steve's got his own little bed in the corner. That's it. Pretty cozy place. Yep. Let's see what happened. Oh! Literally almost hit me in the teeth. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, there. So oh gonna, dude. I don't want to run this uh, power cord over, so. Oh, Why don't you just shimmy up the pole? <laughs> Working at that club all those years, you should be able Mason to climb that pole. pole. Watch out. This <laughs> talk about monkey Mesa. It was Ralph. Just go around that tree twice and it should hold it up. She can't really call this off grid because there's a generator going. But uh, yeah, we are we are off the grid. You know what? Other than the fact that we depend on uh, fuel and oil and clothing and food and pretty much everything. It's about as off grid as it gets. VG. It's a pretty nice day outside. By that, I mean it's not that nice, I guess. Well, we're gonna go snow machining. I mess around and go take Mason up to the bogs. Do a lot more of that. So where we go? We go up to the coffee shop yeah, and then... the coffee shop and then look in the woods to the right. There's a sled dog trail that goes through the trees. All right. Yeah, pretty much second you hit concrete, you can't steer at all. You just blip the throttle like this. <laughs> that was awesome. Let's go! 
In this it's like it's i've been getting deep. stuck yeah. as deep as real deep crazy like i had to get back in the road i was about to get stuck it's just weird snow it's like really dense right now yeah, the top is dense but bottom like not <laughs> now i went to dodge that branch so i put my hand back on it yeah, you shouldn't even be using your brake, you know. Oh, I see. Yeah, like I was slowing down, I actually hit the throttle. <laughs> Super deep back there. Oh, yeah, it's, no. like, it's manageable. Yep. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, boy! Yeah! <laughs> well, bam! What's that? Oh, just broke? Here we go. Is it catching? Nope. No way. First time out. He said he wiggled it until it caught last time. Yeah. And got out, but that feels like Gosh. real. Go ahead and kill it. Yeah. yeah. Recoil is definitely, it's like recoiling though. It's a weird part. I know. It's just not, it's not, Grabbing there's a little the... pin that'll catch. Flip the snow machine, a couple wrecks, recoil blown. Well, good thing it's eight feet deep, so. This is just hard to learn like No, this. okay, secondly, it's like you said you couldn't turn on the concrete, so I picked that up, so I was like, if I start my turn, then I'll maintain it, but right. it like just swung sideways. Oh, yeah. No, it's like, a car, like when you start like spinning. Like so as I was soon supposed as... to go straight across it, then turn yep. on the snow, yeah. yeah. But well, you, if you're now. spinning your track, when you build up speed, and then when it catches traction, it'll f just grab and do yep. weird Once I saw the track spinning that fast on concrete, <laughs> I knew we had trouble. It's just weird, because it doesn't want to push the skis forward, so instead it spins the back out. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just gonna like wrap the rope, like, let the rope like sit on top of itself to kind of lock it down, you know? Seems like something happens every time. I don't know what it is. At least it's not my sled this time. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it just <laughs> pops off. Oh. Check this trench out. <laughs> you should walk down in that thing real quick, man. Show folks how deep this thing is. I wish I would have caught it on film, but yeah, I mean, I just like plowed right up that. Literally like shoulder deep almost. 165, baby. Nugget Creek. <laughs> gonna hit me. He's gonna hit me. There it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <shit. laughs> it's Mason's first time riding actual powder. <laughs> He's doing pretty good. It's deep. It was like three feet deep out there. Soft and sinky. We're, I can't talk. We were able to clutch start. We were able to clutch start Matt's sled and got it back to the cabin and the recoil. So the thing you pull. You pull the rope, it starts the engine, the recoil is busted, it's not working anymore. So Matt and Mason just ditched the trailer, hopped in Matt's truck, and blasted down to Wasilla to get a new recoil from ski -Doo. So they're doing that, they should be back shortly. And I've never put a recoil in, and they haven't either, but you're gonna figure it out with us, because I think it's pretty doable. I think we can figure it out. That's what we're doing tonight, and once we get that fixed, we're gonna grill up some steaks and drink some beers and go riding or 
not in that particular order. Not too many beers in ride. That's a bad idea. And we get the two running sleds. We get the truck camper. And then we got Matt's brand new sled. Not well, brand new to him. It's a 2014 in really good shape. The recoil failed, which is the thing right there. It's the rope you pull out to start your snow machine. And uh, here they come right now, ironically. Timing. He's got the part. He's got the part. All broken down again. We're fixing this right now. Last one in stock. There you have it. That's our kind of luck. The worst luck and the best. It's currently dumping snow and uh, we're gonna put this recoil in. Get down to the ski Doo dealership. Get yourself a new recoil. I think this one was like 165 bucks. And she's out. You can clearly see your recoil is right here. It's this little round disc guy. Boom. Finagle it out. So we just pulled the recoil out. It's right here. So let's swap it out with the new one. How about it? There we go. Uh, and she's through. Rock solid. Woo! Here it is. And you can tell it's working correctly. Beautiful. Well, bomb. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> oh, yeah. That wasn't even crazy. I could have done that in like probably 15 minutes if I wasn't filming. Break it down for the camera here. Yeah. So, my uh, buy a brand new snow machine. Well, not brand new, but new to me. Take it out. Instantly breaks down. Timmy right here sets up shop in the snow while we're sitting up there. Cooking fixes, up steaks. Fixes the whole thing. That's what, a fr that's what a good friend does. That steak better be ready, is what be a good, good friend does. Uh, pull sport and hits his truck. And that's how you put in a recoil on a ski -doo. How about that? And eat both those filet mignons when you turn around. <laughs> Raw. And the smoke. Smoke is what makes it taste good. Filet mignons. Filet mignon. Delicious. If you right. go to Costco, you can get those for a pretty good deal. Steaky steak. It's only shotgun where it takes eight shots. It's a 22. But... 22? Yeah, I got the 22 barrel on. No way. If it was a 410, that thing would be done. Oh, man. Oh! <laughs> Waited too long. Why didn't you have the 410 barrel on there? I don't have these. <laughs> There's the shrew. See him? Running that way. Oh, yeah. Look at those tracks. Little shoe tracks, that's freaking hilarious. All right, y'all, there you have it. There's another trip, another adventure in the books. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to smash that like button down there and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more content like this. And I'll catch you next week. We do a video every week, so until next time, peace, y'all.